Oh my god. Are we back, everyone? Is Lost Ark finally saved? I'm gonna be honest with you, this is huge. AGS really is cooking up a buffet for us, and I wanna look at some of the key points from this article. I will post this in the video description so you can read the entire thing for yourself as well. Okay, first thing. The purpose of Ignite servers is to quickly boost a character to 1620. But it's also a progression guide to 1620 so that new players are able to follow along and catch up to the veterans to tier 4. The biggest thing from this paragraph is here. The Ignite servers will not be monetized. This is huge. Pay to win is not found in Ignite servers. This makes me feel like they are really trying to save the game. Not to milk new players as much as possible before killing the game. The only thing that will cost real money are the cosmetics, which are fair in my opinion. Everyone will start Voldis at 1540 and gives combat level 60 and runes, some including legendary. Did they watch my Ignite server video? All right, all right. I know I'm an unknown YouTuber to them, but maybe an AGS intern saw that video and gave the idea. But these are the exact things I wanted in the Ignite servers. Nobody wants to be farming the mandatory runes and do combat leveling from 50 to 60. It's a chore. This is an amazing win, especially when people transfer over to the main servers. Nobody will know who came from Ignite servers. Very good change compared to the Jumpstart servers. Moving on, there will be a UI guidance system to 1620. And I'm assuming this is to make things intuitive. It will help new players to follow along without getting too confused. This is fantastic. Lost Star could be overwhelming to new players in the beginning with so many systems in place, so I really can't be more happy about this. They still need to do this for solo mode. That's also in my solo mode video, but we can talk about that later, AGS. The other big thing is that this server will last for only seven weeks. They will consider this a bootcamp server. So they really want to encourage players to quickly catch up to all the veterans. This needs to be advertised everywhere. I really hope there's a lot of new players eager to try this out. Hey, I will try this out and I will show everybody how it looks like and post it on YouTube. So I really hope some uh, new players come check this out. I really do hope so. And they uh, have a good time. Uh, this is absolutely insane. Can this get any better? You are also able to create up to six characters. Wow. Okay. In the Ignite servers. And hang on, hang on. You can't just make six 1620 characters to transfer to the main servers. You can only transfer one character. Let's get that clear, everyone. But I will say if you ever wanted to try out six different 1620 classes, now is the time. I know I will be spending a lot of time trying out different classes that I always wanted to try out and figure out which characters to transfer over. Uh, not characters, character to transfer over. I encourage everyone else to do the same. Okay, let's talk about the events because these are big. Very, very big. Because this will be how people will be able to gear their character. There will be no auction house and no pay to win. So the only thing that they can get stuff is from events. So the first thing is the Ignite Express event. Looks like as you're doing quests, you get cards and a con gear selection uh, chests, elixirs, transcendence, many honing materials, higher level gems. The list goes on. OMG, where does it end? Looks like when you complete Ignite missions, you can also get 40 free elixir sets. Not 40 free. Sorry, I should say free 40 elixir set and level 3 transcendence. Guys. I don't think I can handle anymore. It's already giving so much and we're not even halfway through. There's also honing boosts. Basically up to 1580. Item level is free in gold. 100% discount. 
there's also a 300% honing odds increase and a 200% artisan energy. If you're a new player, honing means you're upgrading your gear so you have a better chance of upgrading it. And then artisan is whenever you fail, you fill up a pity meter. So it will fill up much faster. Basically, 1580 will be extremely easy to get. But what about 1620? So 1580 to 1620. Let's see here. 80% gold reduction, which is still fantastic. And still 300% honing odds increase and also similarly 200% artisan energy. Guys, I think someone can literally hit 1620 within like one or two weeks with Ignite server. That is an insane buff. Okay, I am so overwhelmed with all this information, but I hope you are all following along. I think we got past the intense part. Let's finish this up. So raid difficulty, no more hard mode, at least in the Ignite servers, just normal and solo mode. Basically, I think what they're saying here is you won't stay here long and we are giving you hard mode materials. So get out of Ignite servers and play the game in the normal servers. I love that. Transfer experience. So what I got from this is basically if you are a new player, all your roster info and character gets transferred because you are new and you don't have a character in the main server. Now, if you are a returning or veteran player who does have a roster in their main server, only the specific character you choose will be transferred, which sounds correct to me. If you guys want to read exactly kind of what the rules are for transferring and what items and stuff you can transfer over, read this as your take-home homework assignment. And finally, uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll move on from this. Uh-oh. I see a lot of numbers. I don't think my heart can take this anymore. Are they seriously giving a gift for transferring as well? <laughs> so 1,600 item level transfer gift. My goodness. 5,000 bound gold, which is not crazy. But 10 million silver is gear quality stones, elixirs, engravings, accessories, ability stones, honing mats, shards, legendary card selection packs, legendary cards, more cards, more cards, card EXP, stronghold stuff, EXP potions for the road to level 70. Holy crap, they are thinking of everything here. But wait, there's more. Level 1610 transfer item gift. 100,000 bound gold, 15 million silver, and then basically all the same stuff, but just more. But wait, there's more. 1620 item level gives 200,000 bound gold. So I'm assuming that means 305,000 bound gold in addition, just for transferring. Guys, everybody should do this. There's going to be a ton of gold in the market. My goodness, 50 million silver. Oh my gosh. And then more of the same stuff with addition to uh, Echidna, Daemon, Behemoth, Transcendence tickets, Kenuar Fortress gear selection chest, legendary skin, cloth for the legendary skin as well. Guys, and, and girls, actually, there are 2% of you. Thank you all for watching, by the way. This is one of the most insane things AGS dropped in Lost Ark's lifetime. This has exceeded my expectations for Ignite server, seriously. And it's definitely a step up from Jumpstart server. They clearly learned their lesson and I can't wait for more global specific changes to the game. So that we can, you know, let the Koreans have their Korean style pay to win game. And we can have our more casual friendly global game. Round of applause to AGS, guys, because seriously, they're really stepping up, and I can't thank them for what they're doing. Now, if the game dies, I won't be too upset about it, because at least our publisher made the effort. All right, everyone, that's the end of this video. Make sure to read the article for yourselves if you want more specific details, but thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.
And for my pineapple game, sorry guys, pineapple gang, the secret word to put is chef because AGS are chefing it up right now. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, bye everyone.